How is it going everybody? I hope you're having the most wonderful day. Look, it quit raining. But it's scheduled we'll have more after a while. Ugh. But today we're going to answer the most, ans most asked question that I get on any of my social media. And that is, why the Camaro? Be right back, we'll answer. going just disregard the fan noise but today we're going to be discussing why the Chevy Camaro and you know whenever you get asked a complicated question you always ponder to yourself hmm, hmm, hmm. and you're like who am I asking God nah God really doesn't care about that he, he's got bigger issues you're talking to your inner self, you know, your, your most private inner thoughts and your inner being. So with that said, and without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to a special guest, my most inner self, or better known as my alter ego. Come on in, bud. Come on. Uh, how's it going? Going great. Come on. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Glad to be here. I was sitting here uh, just telling my viewers, yeah, yes, I have viewers. There are people in there that watch. Well, not in there. But in there? There are people that watch. But I was just telling them, explaining them, and I thought, well, who better to have explained the question at hand than my inner self, you. So I figured I'd invite you and let you um, tell why. So without further ado, I give you the floor and you tell us why the Chevy Camaro. Why is it our favorite car? Well, that's pretty easy. I mean, you, you know as well as I know that when we were kids, we were into the magazines, car craft, hot rod, all that stuff, and Hot Wheels, and our family cars were all strictly utilitarian. Point A to point B, that was it. But we was riding our bicycle one day and our shoelace came untied, as you remember, and we pulled over, just bent down, tying our shoelace up, and all of a sudden we heard this most ungodly, holiest crap sound that we've ever heard in our lives. It was like a fire-breathing dragon. And we looked to investigate the noise and out back this car out of a garage. So we uh, investigated further, and- uh, Yeah, it sounded great. Yeah, oh didn't it Oh my God, it sounded great. But uh, anyhow, we investigated further, and, this, and the owner told us that it was a Chevy Camaro, a 70 model with a 396 big block. So we just walked around in amazement, and uh, you know, in awe. That thing was gorgeous too. Yeah, yeah. And, but we walked around in awe of this thing, just in amazement. And ever since then, that's been the car that we've always wanted. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to the story, but we keep getting asked that, so that's why I want to let you guys know. But if I could go back and do it all again, I mean, the Chevy Camaro is it. We, we, we like both, uh, well, we like all cars. Good, old, bad, ugly. There you go. Yeah, yeah, as long as they're running. <laughs> we like all cars. But, um, yeah, I'm sitting here doing this and three three Mustangs just went by as yeah, I'm sitting here talking that around. quickly. But we would love, we would love to go back and buy a ZL1, a 2013 model, because that thing just looks so pissed off. It's amazing. It's absolutely crazy. And, um, but I mean, we're happy with the two that we have, don't get me wrong, but if I could just have one, that would be it. But our all-time dream car would be the uh, old 69 Yanko Camaro. Absolutely. You know, what can you do though? Money and time, time and money. They don't seem to be at the same point at the same time, do they? Never get it. 
But with that said, you know what I always say. Get out there and enjoy your car. It doesn't matter what you're doing to it. It's yours. You paid for it. And you guys have a great day, a great afternoon, and we will see you next video. Now that everybody's gone, uh, I got a question for you. You asked me about the Camaros, so I'm going to ask you about the Mustangs. I mean, we test drove a, um, what was it, a Roush Edition yep. Mustang? Yep. About two hours before we actually bought this car. So what made us go get a Mustang instead of, I mean, what made us go get a Camaro instead of a Mustang? Well, we test drove a lot of them and everything, but like you've seen from the street that drove by, outside of color, they look alike. Yeah, they look all alike. Yeah, so, you know, with the, there goes another one, a silver one. But, um, with the Camaros, they all look different. It, from the, the base line to the 1SS to the 2SS to the ZL1. So, you know, with the base model, you get the V6 and basically no appearance package or nothing, just a little bit of badging. Yeah, when you get into the Camaros, you can tell them one from another. Yeah, yeah you can. And then you've got the 1SS, which has the V8 with some more badging and a spoiler on the back. And then you go to the 2SS, which has the... Well, you keep explaining. I gotta go. <laughs> really? It's different. All right, I'll keep explaining. The 2SS comes with the leather, the... the um, it comes with stripes, comes with the sunroof comes with uh, all the amenities and everything and then of course you have the ZL1 and there is absolutely no mistake in the ZL1 I mean everybody knows that hood just it, it, it looks mean even behind you and you're just driving along wait a minute he's going to the bathroom oh crap I gotta go too we'll see you later <laughs> I got to go